Hey, you madcaps. Did you know that on Saturn's moon Titan, there is the potential for giant fucking electric sandworms? <laughs> you know, kind of like the creatures in the movie Tremors, but like all electrified. With that said, and without further ado, I present to all of you the debut of the Mad Chatter's crazy shit about space. That's right. Now, when you look up in the sky here on Earth and you see our moon, it's beautiful. If you sit close up, the crater, it really is quite awe-inspiring. Quite the spectacle, I would say. But, but, I mean, in reality, it is kind of just a fucking rock. I mean, compared, compared to some of the other moons in the solar system, which are much more akin to planets. And that's what we're talking about today. The craziest fucking moons in the solar system. That's right. And we're going to begin with the aforementioned Titan. Now, Titan is one of the more interesting moons of Saturn. It's, it's even a little bit like Earth. That's right. It has an atmosphere. It has mountains, rivers, lakes. Now, these rivers and lakes, uh, they're not uh, filled with water, really. They're, uh, they're, they're filled with like liquid methane. So, you know, not anything you'd want to go like banana boating in or anything like that. <laughs> Another interesting feature of Titan is that it has these sand dunes. And these sand dunes move in the opposite direction of the atmosphere, the wind. They're going against it. That's not normal. So how do these dunes move the way they do on Titan? Well, to begin, these dunes are made of like sand and, and crushed rock and things like that. Like here on Earth, no, no, no. They're made of hydrocarbons and other organic molecules. And basically, when the powerful winds of Titan's atmosphere get a roll in, it charges, gets these particles going, and they get all rubbing against each other, and they charge up, creating this electricity throughout the sand dunes that makes them almost feel alive. However, these factors cannot account for everything that is happening with the sand dunes. So scientists wonder, is there some sort of very large creature, some large electric sandworm that is helping to give the dunes these movements? It's really terrifying. Like I said, think the tremors, but all electrified. It's a terrifying thought. And the scientists, they know this is possible because they've discovered bacteria here on Earth that consumes electricity. Hey, hey, hey. So this is possible only, only on Titan, obviously, to make dunes that size. These things would have to be massive. Like I said, electrified tremors. But really, Saturn is full of interesting moons around. It really is. I mean, there's Mimas. This one's crazy. Got a giant fucking crater on it. Looks just like the goddamn Death Star from Star Wars. Then you head out to Neptune and you see its moon Triton, right? Not Titan like Saturn, Triton. Now, Triton is very interesting because it orbits in the opposite direction of all the other fucking moons in the solar system. Not only that, but it's very geologically active. Geyser spewing icy materials like, like fucking ice volcanoes. How fucking cool is that? And you get the ice volcanoes and then a possible subterranean ocean where we may be able to find life. That's right. That's right. Life. Because here on Earth, we find in the Arctic, in the deep, cold, dark waters, we find life. And if we can find it here in those places, we can find it elsewhere in those places. 
Another very geologically active moon in the system is Io, Jupiter's moon. Now this thing, youngest moon in the system, volcanoes all over the place. And some of these eruptions are so massive from these volcanoes that they can be seen from Earth with a giant telescope. However, the coolest moon in our solar system, also belonging to Jupiter, would have to be the moon Europa. And much like Triton, it's believed this moon has an underground ocean, very possibly with life in it. That's right, life. And as mentioned, life can be found in these kinds of places here on Earth. The deep, dark, cold, like in the Arctic. So it is very possible there are creatures in these subterranean oceans of these moons. Possibly even real life, gigantic ass squids. <sighs> kind of cool, kind of freaky. But there's also, there's also the possibility, you know, we run into some, some real scary shit, uh, a lot scarier than like giant squid. So thank you for joining me on the debut edition of the Matt Chatters Crazy Shit About Space. Stay tuned. Next week, we're going to talk about dwarf planets. I did it. Dwarf planet, Not like Tyrion from Game of Thrones dwarf. I mean, that's kind of how it's, I mean, I guess you could compare it to, but none of them are named Tyrion. So we'll just, uh, anyway, anyway, tune in next week. That's right.